Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jean and I'm so happy to have you guys for today's reading. So for today's video, we're going to talk about your boss. So we're going to talk about um, how he or she sees, sees you, how they uh, view you, how they see you. And we're also going to ask the Oracle cards, what are the necessary action plans to um, approach or how to deal uh, with them in particular. So for today, I've prepared three piles for you guys to choose from. So we have here pile number one with the moss agate crystal. And then we have here pile number two with the green strawberry quartz crystal. And then we also have here pile number three. <laughs> oh my god, I actually forgot what this crystal is called, but it's also green, which is um, consistent with the theme. It's also very pretty. Okay, so you can pick based on the energy of the crystal. Or um, if you feel more drawn to the set of cards, you can also choose that. Okay, if you need more time to pick, you can pause the video. But otherwise, I'll go ahead and see you on your reading. Hi pile number one, welcome to your reading. So if you have chosen the most agate crystal, this one is for you. So again, we're going to ask the cards, how does your boss see you? And then for your first card, you have the ten of pentacles. Great start. You also have the lover's card. And then you also have the moon card. We have the Magician card, and you also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's start with your reading pile number one. Now, let's talk about the Ten of Pentacles first. So initially, uh, what I'm getting is that your boss is actually very impressed of your performance. Like work-wise, they actually like your work, they like the quality of your work, and aside from the actual um, output that you do, they also like your work ethic. Like 10, 10 out of 10, you know, they think that you're one of their best members. They think that you're one of the best um, employees that they have. Now, with the lovers in here, aside from them actually being um, a fan of your work, per se, I've also seen here that with the lovers, there is also an element of them seeing their um younger selves or their previous um selves to you like let's say for instance um for some of you you may be a bit uh, older than your you may be a bit younger than your boss uh, but for some of course their boss is younger than them but nonetheless you know they start they are seeing some parts of themselves their past selves when they were either starting out in this career or in this company this job they see those things in you, okay, as their team member. And the lovers in here, it's, say, it's saying that, you know, it's actually one of the things that they like about you. Aside from your actual work, the work that you do, they like that it's that they can see, um, you know, their work ethic. They can see themselves through you. And I'm also seeing here that another thing that they like about you is that the goals that they have in mind for the team, for the company, the department, okay, they like that, you know, um, you are also aligned with it, they feel, they think, they see that your own personal goals and career goals are also aligned with them, which is actually um, a great match, so, yeah, so they actually like, yeah, so for they really, really like you, but then, you also have here the moon card, okay, now, Ironically, okay, I'm seeing two messages coming in with the moon card and the magician, okay, being beside the moon card. So two things. One, it could also be that, you know, they see you as a successor. So they think that eventually you'll be someone who is capable enough to take over their job in the future. Or one, um, it also, for some of you, I'm also seeing that because of the great work that you do, 
some of your boss some of for some of you your bosses may feel a little bit threatened because of the work that you do and i know it's weird because you know they like you they see themselves in you but then all of a sudden um for some of them they got a little bit insecure now the moon card in here another interpretation that i'm getting for some of you is that they're also hoping that you would stay so if in case that you have had a talk with your boss that you're either considering a new opportunity or you're considering to leave the company or the department so they actually have um you know those um worries they got those worries that hopefully you would actually stay because with the magician here i'm seeing that regardless of whether they feel threatened or they feel blessed to have you in the team they can actually see again so much potential in you and the magician card in here is also saying that they see you as someone who is instrumental towards them achieving their goals okay and the three of pentacles in here is saying that um in terms of okay in terms of your progression here's the thing because you are doing so well with the current work that you have there's this possibility that they would like to keep you where you are because you're so good at it like they also they almost think and feel and see that you're indispensable with your work and therefore you know they might try to keep you in there now three of pentacles in here saying that it's not good for song it's not gonna be a long time like forever they're planning to make you stuck there it's just that up until that goal of them is not yet reached they would like to keep you in here as much as possible now as promised let's pull some oracle cards to see so because of this outcome what are the possible um, approaches best approaches that you can do for your boss okay so you have your two cards we have waterfall effortless we also have Milky Way perspective now i'm seeing here with waterfall that um with effortless so whatever it is that you're doing right now the message here is to just keep at it okay just keep that keep the status quo just continue doing what you're currently doing and milky way perspective it's also saying that in the long run okay i know that this um three of pentacles energy the reverse might have been a little bit um off in the message but with the oracle card in here it's saying that okay um milky way perspective there's actually going to be a good positive beneficial long-term effect for you and your career so it might be that right now you feel stuck to where you are but in here it's saying that it's a good you know it's a good kind of stock it's not like the kind of stock wherein you're going to be stagnant it's pretty much like the kind wherein they want you to stay in here where you are for now because they also want to teach you other things that they believe will help you be well equipped with the next step of your career okay so that is it for us pile of number one i hope you like this reading i hope this was able to help thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i get to see you on the next video bye bye hi pal number two welcome to your eating so if you have chosen the green strawberry quartz then this is for you so let's see here what does your boss think of you and then for your first card you have the temperance card in the first then you also have the four of pentacles next we have the two of wands okay. next card we have the tower and we have the knight of wands okay so pile number two how does your boss see you and let's start with the temperance card in the first okay so initially upon seeing this card i am seeing that uh, the way your boss sees you is that you are polar opposites like they see you as someone who is totally different from who they are now this is neither a good thing nor um, a bad thing it's just that um, they see you as someone who has one a different work style 
has a different work ethic, um, has a different way of um, doing things. So, yeah, so that's the first um, thought that comes to mind. Now, for some of you, I'm also hearing that you may have um, done something recently or in the past that may have offended your boss. And it could be that they were, um, you know, outs- they were outspoken about it, they may have told you about it or not, but nonetheless, um, there was something, there was an event in the past that you did that made them, you know, have the certain impression of you. So let's go along and read the other cards. Okay, for your next card, we have the Four of Pentacles. Oh, okay, so this one is a very straight uh, forward message. With the Four of Pentacles, I'm seeing that your boss um, thinks that you are only in here for the money and nothing else. Okay, now um, again, this is a this could be true or this could be a good thing or a bad thing, but they only think that um, you're in here for the money. But realistically, um, isn't it not that most of um, us are working really just for you know the resources, the money, and um, I mean, there's nothing bad about it, but um, your boss sees you in that way that you're only in here to get the pay. Now, what, is, what else is that? we have the two of ones so um if you'll notice this card okay so there are two ones in here right and then the man is holding on to a glue and to one of the wand one of the two ones so i'm seeing that you know in a way your boss is still trying his or her best to still view you in a more neutral state now the fact that they're holding on to one stick means that they may ha- have already had their biases okay but nonetheless they're still trying to see you um, in a different perspective in a different light because uh, of course um well for most of us our boss and even us towards our own bosses uh, we only see the superficial things so you're seeing for so most of you, your boss sees that your boss your superior understands that and therefore they're still trying to look at things from a different perspective you know from a perspective that is not their own so there's that and then the tower card okay so um for this one i'm seeing that okay Okay, but number two, have you really have a strong beef with your boss? <laughs> I mean, the tower card I'm seeing here that okay, it's not that they don't believe in you, it's just that, um, you know, they may ha- among their team members, they may have um, a lower set of expectations towards one, your commitment, and two. I'm hearing, for some of you, okay, not for all, but for some of you, I'm hearing that, you know, they have this expectation or flexibility that they know that you might be doing a mistake. And you have to be careful on this file number two because I'm seeing that for some of you, um, because you already have had this, you know, history with your boss or with your superior, they might, you know, be expecting it. It's not that they're expecting you to fail, but in a way um they have you know they have this certain expectation that if something um goes a little bit south or wrong you know they you might be the first one that they'll put the blame okay so you know to put it a little bit more thoughtly it seems like you may not actually be their favorite um member in a sense and then we have for the Knight of Wands. Now, another thing that I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands being in their purse is that regardless, you know, they're not going to be really open about it. They may be dropping hints, but they're not really going to be, you know, more open or more blunt about it. And I'm seeing that this is more because of the Two of Wands energy. Because also, at the same time, even if um, you and your boss have your own differences, this is their way of actually trying to respect you still. So they're still trying to, um, again, see you in a different light. And also, they're also being very careful with how 
um, the message will come off the okay now so as promised let's draw some oracle cards to see um how will you be approaching this situation now okay so for your first card you have fire passion so a lot of um well two <laughs> well, well technically be um fire sign energy in here so your boss may be an aries a leo or a sagittarius okay there you go so you have um three messages from the oracle on how to approach this situation with your boss so you have your fire you have your ocean and you have your wolf so with the fire card up in your thing i'm seeing that one of the advice from the oracle is to um actually show more passion with your work now it um, you know the you know if some of you, for some of you you're having quite some difficulty with it there's this uh, message that you can actually fake it like it doesn't um have to be a hundred percent true for you but at least try to show you know try to play the game their game a little bit like make them uh show do some things show some things that gives them the impression at least that you're really interested with the work and then we have your ebb and flow so there's also this message here to also be a little bit more um patient and flexible with your boss so let's see for instance um if of course this doesn't um say to tolerate abuse and harassment no no definitely not but it's saying that with the ebb and flow uh, message like as much as possible don't take things personally with your boss with him or her so if they did say something that is purely directed at work and so especially if it's something that's very objective something that's on a black and white so the message here is to just go with it okay like just um give what your boss demands and there's also this message here to not take things personally and then with the wolf message appearing in your reading there's also another message that of course at the end of the day like work is just work and at the same time there's also this message to separate your work self your work persona to who you really are so pretty much in line with the fire message here so you can actually just fake um the passion here and at the same time create this different totally different um self from who you really are at work or at yeah at work versus who you really are with your friends and with your family and um yeah <laughs> that is it for us file number two so i hope you like this reading i hope this was able to help it make sense and thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i get to see you on the next video bye bye hi pal number three welcome to your reading so if you have chosen that um, crystal which i forgot the name then this is um your message for you so again the topic is how does your boss see you and then for your first card we have the eight of wands next we have the king of wands and then we also have the five of wands We have the two of swords okay and then we also have the three of wands in the first okay so i'm seeing in here that you know with a lot of wands energy appearing in your eating it seems like you have a healthy communication like a healthy um relationship with your boss or with your superior so let's talk about the eight of wands appearing in your eating so in here initially what i'm seeing is that they see you as a very good team player um within the within his team or her team and um they actually do have plans okay to make sure that you grow further along your career okay as confirmed by the king of wands so it seems like with the king of wands in here okay um it also seems like you know you are able you and your boss are able to have a healthy relationship 
outside of your work like you can actually even be friends and at work and this is something that will not hinder or will not be a challenge you know some well, a challenge with your actual work relationship so you can be good friends with this person with your boss <clears throat> yet at the same time it won't compromise work or any um thing that's related to work your work relationship which is actually you know like a very good thing and i'm also seeing here with the king of wands that your boss you know is very transparent so there's a message here that you know you what you see is what you get so if they tell you if he or she tells you this or that like there's a message that that's just actually what they meant literally so another message coming in in here is that they take whatever they say at face value and then with the five of wands appearing in your reading and the two of swords in the first i'm also seeing here that you know there's there's a message in here coming through that you have to trust your boss so there are some things that are happening behind closed doors that you are not um, familiar with one and two that your boss um doesn't feel the need to actually share the information with you but um nonetheless okay you have to regardless of th these challenges you have to trust your boss because i'm also seeing in here that your boss is actually doing whatever he or she can in his power and authority to actually defend for you to fend for you and the team okay so there may be this your boss may be asking you to do things that you are not comfortable with or that you are not in agreement with but the two of swords in your version here is saying that you know it's only because this is also for your own good so you may have had um or you may currently be in conflict with them but the cards or your spirit guides are saying that you know regardless of um how inconvenient or how much you don't agree with it so there's this message that you just need to trust um your superior on this again it may not be something that you like but this is definitely something for your own good and then you also have in here the three of wands okay so um upon getting the energy of this card i automatically got the message that your boss will be supportive of you regardless of um you know where you want to be now the three of wands being in the first in your reading is simply saying that of course as much as possible they still want you in their team and then if you do hear actually hear your boss saying that they want you in their team again they mean it and of course they don't want you to leave because again they really also see you as um an asset as an important member of um his or her team now this one being in the first is say it's not saying that they're not allowing you to, or they want you to be stagnant but it's pretty much like a message of you know whatever it is that you feel would be best for you they'll support you but also at the same time they're hoping that you would stick around and stay with them and trust them that you know they will be able to get you through this very challenging and difficult phase in your career or within the company now as promised, I am going to pull some oracle cards to give us more information on how you're going to, you know, an advice on how you're going to approach your relationship with your boss. Okay, and you have two messages. You have Gaia, nurturing, and you have Island, solitude. Okay, upon getting this card, the first thing that I got is don't question not really not ask questions but avoid asking questions that you feel may overstep the boundaries we have to be careful with that pile number three okay so yes it's okay to ask questions but um as much as possible um if you feel like this question is something that's awkward or something that may be bordering to inappropriate or unnecessary listen to your thought and avoid um doing so and then lastly you have here Gaia. So again, um, for
for you, uh, pile number three, this boss, they have good intentions, but you know, as much as possible, they also want to keep their private life and you know, in secrecy. Like, yes, they can be friends with them, but at the same time, they would prefer that you keep the professional boundary clear. Okay, and that is it for us, pile number three. So, I hope you like this. I hope you like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully, I get to see you on the next videos. Bye bye.